This house that I'm currently living in is the first house that I've lived in where I've actually had the ability and the space to have a guest bedroom. And that is really exciting to me because I've always been someone who has hoped that I could host people and have them over for dinner, feed them a beautiful home cooked meal. Like I dream of a house in the future where I can have a huge outdoor space where I can just host all of my friends and family for Christmas lunches and all that sort of stuff. And part of that hosting dream that I have is to have a space in my house where people can come and stay the night or stay a few days or whatever it may be and just feel so welcome and so comforted in my home. I just want my home to be a place that people love to come and where they feel safe and loved. But we've been in this house for six months and so far our guest bedroom has been basically just a storage space and I am so done with it and I'm finally making a change. So up until this point, it's kind of just been full of all of our like leftover furniture that doesn't really belong anywhere else and doesn't really have a home. Our air fryer was being stored in there because it doesn't fit in our kitchen. Like, I, I don't know. It was just a mess of a space. So last week I cleared it all out. We also used to keep all of our books in there, but we moved those to a different area of our house. And I finally had a bit of a blank canvas to work with. So I did want to use as much of my like already existing furniture and decor as possible because obviously we want to reuse what we've got. One thing that we definitely needed was a new bed frame and a mattress because we did not have either of those. So that is step one of the transformation. Now it's time to unbox the mattress. I'm super thankful to be working with Emma Sleep. I have heard nothing but incredible things about this company and their mattresses. They also sell a bunch of other things too. Bed frames, pillows, mattresses in a bunch of different sizes. We've gone with a queen and this mattress is their comfort mattress, which is perfect because of course we want our guests to be comfortable. So I'm gonna grab Liam's help and we are going to unbox this together. And if you're looking to upgrade your sleeping experience, but maybe you don't wanna go all out on a new mattress, definitely check out Emma Sleep's incredible accessories. They have some incredible quality pillows and duvets that could totally elevate your nighttime experience. If you're having trouble sleeping, I definitely recommend maybe upgrading some of your bedding. I think it makes a huge difference. I'm still waiting for the mattress to finish like fully expanding and rising but it's already just so soft. Like I'm kind of jealous. I might have to try sleeping in here one night just to test it out for myself. But we ended up choosing Emma Sleep because obviously we wanted the best for our guests. And I'm so glad we did because I'm just genuinely so impressed. If you want to try out Emma Sleep for yourself, I obviously recommend the process of choosing the mattress, getting it delivered, unboxing it, all of that. So easy. They also have a 100 night trial. So you can literally try the mattress for 100 nights before you actually decide if you want to commit and I feel like that is such an awesome option because yes you can try out mattresses in store and like see how soft they are and lay on them for like a minute but I feel like you don't get the full experience until you sleep on it obviously so having a hundred nights to sleep on a mattress before you decide whether you fully want to commit is just amazing to me and they have a 10-year warranty so if you guys do want to check out Emma Sleep for yourselves I'll leave the link in the description and they've given me a discount code to share with you guys which is Rachel C5 and that will give you 5% off and even if they're already currently having a sale it'll give you 5% off that sale price so definitely recommend checking that out. This mattress also has motion isolation which Liam and I have on our mattress in our master bedroom and it is literally game changing. If you share your bed with anyone, whether it's a pet or a partner or anyone, and they move when they sleep or you move when you sleep and you get woken up by them, you need a mattress with motion isolation because Liam and I both toss and turn when we sleep and having that on our mattress genuinely made us sleep so much better because he can be tossing and turning and I won't feel a thing, which I'm obsessed with. And the other thing that is game changing is temperature regulation, which basically just means it has cooling properties. So during those summer nights, you're less likely to wake up in a pool of your own sweat, which who doesn't want that? Again, 
game changing. I just pulled up outside of Pillow Talk. The goal is to hopefully find a doona cover, maybe some throw pillows. I really just don't know what I want and what I'm looking for, which is the difficult part. Part of me wants to get something like colorful and fun because in our bedroom we just have like white and beige. But then the other part of me is like, no, just like stay safe, keep it simple, do whites, do neutrals. I don't know. I'm just going to go in and see what they have and see what I like. Pillow Talk was semi-successful. I picked up a doona cover, a throw pillow, and a throw blanket. I'm gonna go into Kmart now and look for some more pillows, decorative and just like normal pillows, and maybe a lamp. Here's a little haul of everything I ended up getting today. So this is the one decorative pillow that I got from Pillow Talk. I might end up getting more once I've set it up and can see it a bit easier. I might just have this one long one, but I might end up getting more. I'm not sure yet. I got some pillows and some European pillows. I got this throw blanket, which is so beautiful. And this is the Duna cover I ended up choosing. It's just a white linen and it's so beautiful yes i did end up going white but i'm thinking that i can always switch up the throw pillows and throw blankets if i want to add a bit of color but for now i think it'll be so cute i just got some white pillow cases for the european pillows a whole heap of storage bins some of these are going to go in the guest bedroom bedside tables some of them are going to go in the bathroom some of them are going to go in our bedroom and i just bought a bunch and i thought i'll just return the ones that i don't use i also picked up a lamp and a bulb a power board so guests can plug in their charges and also just some little storage bins for things like hair ties bobby pins cotton tips cotton rounds stuff like that these are from target and that is everything i think i'm gonna set up the bed now i already have sheets that are like this color so i'm gonna use those but yeah let's set it up so i can kind of get a gauge of if it's done and complete or if I need to pick up a few other pillows and things. restocking videos where they do like the ASMR and they restock all of the little travel minis into their cute little containers and their cute little spots with their cute little labels and it's just so satisfying and ever since seeing those videos I have had a dream <laughs> of being someone with a similar sort of setup in my guest bathroom because I just love the idea that people could come to my house and just feel so loved and so looked after I guess like I want to give them like almost like a hotel experience so I went shopping and I bought a lot <laughs> a lot of things to stock up my bathroom so hopefully I have everything that a guest could possibly need and I understand that they're probably going to bring their own toiletries and things like that but just in case they forget something or run out of something or maybe I have a guest stay that didn't expect to be staying then I just have everything they could possibly need so I went shopping the chemist warehouse and I picked up a few things through some of the things that I bought. First of all, toothbrushes. I feel like this is like the classic thing that people forget that you obviously really don't want to forget. Some little travel toothpaste, cute little baby mouthwash, floss, little packets of cotton tips. 
an assortment of deodorants, men's and ladies, spray and roll-on, razors, shower caps. These ones are from Coles. Mini dry shampoo. We have just like a regular one and then also the brunette one. Obviously some soap. Some cute little headbands if they're doing their makeup and want to put their hair back out of their face. This one is from Ruby Shoes and this one is from Gabsies. Some makeup removal wipes. Tiny little micellar waters. Some body moisturizer. This one is especially great when you are sunburnt because it has aloe in it and it just feels so cooling. And lastly, I know that a lot of my friends use CeraVe, but they don't really have like travel sizes. So I just got one of the hydrating cleansers, one of the foaming cleansers, and then also one of the face moisturizers. And then at least hopefully everyone has something, but that's pretty much it. Now it's time to organize it all. Okay guys, I think the room is officially done, at least to a point that I'm happy with. I would love to get something for the walls, maybe add a few more final touches, but overall, it is complete and I'm so happy with how it turned out. So let me show you around a little bit. You can pretend to be my guest for a bit. So you walk in and this is what you see. Like I said, very, very simple, but I don't know. I just think it looks really simple, but cozy at the same time. So obviously we have the bedding with the tan sheets. I'm still tossing out whether I want to switch up the pillow situation. Let me know what you guys think. But I just love a simple linen bed. We also have our throw blanket from Pillow Talk. Then I've put out some towels like you see at hotels because obviously this is a hotel experience here in the Rachel Catherine household and then I also popped this little basket at the end of the bed because I thought this would be really cute for when I actually have real guests coming to stay I can put like their favorite snack in there or just something that's a little bit more personalized to them then over here we obviously have a nightstand with our lamp and some dried flowers. These dried flowers are actually from my wedding bouquet, which is so special. And we also have a little candle down here from Palm Beach Collection. This is the watermelon scent and it smells phenomenal. And then in the drawer here, we have a power board so that they can plug in all of their tech stuff when they come and stay. And then I also got some chargers, like phone chargers. So these ones are Android ones. And then these ones are Apple ones. And I'm pretty sure these are like two meters long. So I feel like that would be a winner because I also think that's another thing that people always forget is phone chargers. And then around the other side, we just have a cute little plant and a little diffuser, which is also from Palm Beach Collection in the watermelon scent, which again, smells amazing. And then in this drawer, we just have some silk eye masks. So I have one and then there's another one in here in case guests would like to use that. And then also some scrunchies if they wanna put their hair up. And then obviously I showed you guys the whole bathroom setup, which I'm obsessed with. I think it turned out so well. And now I just can't wait to have our first guests. I don't even know who we're gonna have first, but I just think it'll be so fun. But again, a huge thank you to Emma Sleep for sponsoring our little guest bedroom makeover. And remember, if you guys want to try out Emma Sleep for yourselves, definitely use code RACHELC5 to save 5% off. I'm just so happy with how it all turned out. And that is our final guest bedroom reveal. I hope you guys like how it turned out. I'm definitely no interior designer by any means, but I feel like I've hopefully created a space where people enjoy being there. They feel at home. They have a comfortable place to sleep. And I just can't wait to live out my hosting dreams. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I literally had so much fun filming this. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. But I love you so much and I will see you in my next video very soon. Good. Bye.